Hello, this is a video about a 5-in-1 CO2 temperature humidity air quality monitor carbon dioxide HCHO2 HC HO detector purchased from eBay for about £25. So I'm quite interested in these and in the coming days I'll probably have a video showing three different types of these air detector, air quality detector things to see how uh, close they all report the statistics. So this came from eBay, took quite a while to arrive, supposedly sent from the UK, um, but eventually did arrive. I'm waiting for, as I say, another one to be delivered. So in the box we have the air quality detector, quite surprisingly a USB-C connector rather than a micro USB. Uh, on the We've got the display here with a cover. On the side you've got power and the charging port. Nothing on the back, not even a label. And just some vents on the other sides. In the box, got some kind of not very useful quality certified bit of paper and a manual. Some of the the sensors of some models work intermittently. Interesting. There isn't really much to know or do about this, uh, anyway, doesn't seem to have any settings or the ability to turn off an alarm or anything. So let's see how much power it draws and how it works. So I was wondering how I can uh, put that so you can see it, angle it up towards the camera. That will probably do. So its initial screen seems to have the backlight on and just a charging uh, symbol. Press the power button. Just a brief press does nothing, so I'm going to hold it down. And there we go, device is on. Temperature is bouncing around quite a bit there, started at at least 18 and then went up to 20. And well, that's probably about it, as exciting as it gets. Um, the, the thing I do want to see is uh, what happens when I have several of these in a row. Um, what difference does it make to the readings? Do they all read around about the same? Or uh, do they have like a, a wide variation? Is the calibration pretty wrong or rubbish on them? Energy usage of it looks like 5 volts and 0. 3.2 amps, so 320-ish, 310 milliamps. Uh, this thing's probably fully charged, so that's I expect it's operating uh, energy usage rather than it's charging energy usage. That's literally it. Can't do anything with it. If you press the power button, I think it changes the temperature units to Fahrenheit. And the only other thing, you, oh, see it. Mm, I do think it overreads. It's definitely not 22 unless it's the temperature from my hand that's done that. So if I leave that, uh, let's see if I can leave that. Yeah, maybe it was the temperature from my hand. Well, that's not as uh, exciting video as I'd hoped. In the next few days, hopefully, I'll do a video comparing three of these, three different models um, of different uh, form factors and, and other things and see how differently they read. Uh, the other ones I don't think have these uh, HCHO value or the TVOC value. 
Um, I think at least one of them is just the uh, carbon dioxide value. Unknown whether this is particularly accurate and look forward to the next few days when I'll receive a couple of other devices to test against and we'll see what they all report all in a row next to each other. It does also look like maybe it was still charging and the uh, power drawer is dropping a bit. Hopefully this video has been interesting. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thanks.